Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing Active King URSS in the one minute pool on ICC. This is my first game of the session, and I'm gonna trade. Uh, well, I'm gonna play Bishop B4 now. I was gonna trade knights, but he didn't want that. Uh, queen trade this early? Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna play D5 next. I think this position is already quite good for me. Um, his center is kind of collapsing, so that's why I really like it. Um, let's go bishop d7. I don't want to take on c3 necessarily. Let's drop this guy back. Uh, maybe just castle. I hope he doesn't get too much pressure against my, um, my pawn on h7 is what I'm hoping. Um, ugh, this is not looking that great though. I'm attacking a2. I can take that. And then, hmm. We have to be careful. Uh, let's go here. This looks like a good move, actually, because I can do this. Ooh, I was lucky to find that move. Oh, does that work? That, oh my Time gosh. Warning. I can't believe that works. That's crazy if that works. It appears to. This is actually pretty complicated right now. It is, in fact, pretty complicated. Check. Mm-hmm. Not liking this much. Gonna try to, um, I don't know, somehow hold Check. the position. It's not working too well, though. Check. Check. Okay, this is gonna be a draw. Interesting. That was a real interesting and sharp game to start out. Uh, multicast, who is this guy? 2692? Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. Guy I've never seen before, 2692 in the one minute pool. We have action. All right, well, Scandinavian it is. Was not expecting to find someone like that. Uh, okay, I'll go queen b6. I'll go g6 against this setup. This is a crafty setup by white. So we need some precision and some resourcefulness ourself. Uh, I'm gonna maybe play for e5, I'm thinking. Yeah, I like e5 a lot. Because now this d pawn is, ooh, that was not good by me. Scratch everything I just said, I'm losing a piece. Um, <laughs> yeah, I gotta go here and I'm losing a piece. Ouch. Yeah, missed knight a4. Maybe I can get back in the game with, um, I don't know, some speedy play, but it's not looking good, guys. Not looking good. Mm, bishop f5. Eh. Guess I'll go b6. He's trying to, like, trap my uh, queen somehow in a way that I don't quite see at the moment. Knight f4 would be really good, though. Knight f4 is unpleasant. Yikes. Okay, I'll go here. Oh, did not see that either. <laughs> Position's coming apart at the seams. Check. Time warning. Alright, I'm gonna resign this one. You got me multicast. Yeah, I missed knight a4. That's an easy in-between move to miss. Okay, so... Already we're below 2600, just like that. All it took was a draw and a loss. C6. G5, huh? Okay, let's go here. And then H3. I guess I'll just allow this exchange to happen on G3. I'm not so sure about my position again. Um, okay, I'll go here. Maybe trade queens with him. Go here. It's a little suspicious for me. Okay, we'll take. Let's see if we can trade. Um, okay, let's go here. Bishop c5 maybe is good for him. Yeah, bishop c5 is strong, I think. 
Let's go here so I can try to run away at least if he goes bishop c5. Bishop takes h3 is good for him. Plays that first. Um, okay, that's also good. Check. Oh. Check. Yikes. Yeah, I'm resigning. Okay, two losses in a row to multicast. I'm just checking this guy and his history. Seems really strong. Huh. Plays a bunch of different time controls. Winning practically every game. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, he's over 2,700. He <laughs> must be a GM or somebody really good in disguise. Pretty good ratio of wins to losses in the pool. Well, what goes up must come down. You know, I knew I wasn't <laughs> going to be, uh, let's say, healthily above 2,600 for very long. I hoped I would be, but I wasn't prepared for that. But, you know, it's all in good fun and it's all just chess, so I don't care about my imaginary number too much. It just determines the quality of opposition I'm going to face. White is winning here. But he flagged. I'm in the pool waiting to be paired. I'm going to do the old enter-leave trick. <laughs> See if that gets us anywhere. Multicast is playing again. No, he's not. Hmm. He's not on the best list. If he was, he'd be number one by a mile over Black Horse. Yeah, 27-15. That's Nakamura-like numbers. All right, got multicast again. He plays d4 this time. Okay, I guess we'll just do this. Get this, like... You know, reverse setup. Pretty normal stuff. This is like a semi slav reversed, basically. It seems like he gets the best of me in these tactical situations that crop up here, so I don't know that I should be um, going for tactics necessarily against him. Okay, let's just do this. Play a rook to uh, the D file soon. Let's trade here. Or not. Try to swap these dark square bishops. I'm just playing very simply against him. Like, nothing fancy at all. Knight hmm, E4, sure. Let's see if we can induce some more trades. Um... Well, let's go backwards. Mm. Let's see if he'll swap with me. Hmm. He's going to give a check on c8 and then play rook c7 more than likely. Okay. What is that move? Time warning. This is kind of weird. Okay, um, check. Yeah, this is definitely a little weird. Check. Okay. Check. Okay, guess he's going to go for the win. Check. Ah. Uh, check. Check. Okay, I flagged him. Well, that was a weird end. <laughs> I don't know. Not proud of the way I played that end game. I think it's a draw anyways. Like, my king is too trapped in. Um, even when my pawn gets to the second rank. Obviously, uh, <laughs> him playing king e4 was a little unexpected. But, um, yeah, it should be a draw even... Regardless, just pure time scramble at the end. Lucky to have got off that flag. Uh, but with that win, I'm back over 2,600. Let's play him another time if I can. That'd be nice. 
not a whole lot else going on. It's just kind of um, me and multicast playing. So I hope we're able to play again. Active King URSS is up there, but he's not not in uh, the echelon we're at as far as rating goes. I'm currently playing this session um, about 8.55 p.m. U.S. time. So probably not getting many European players at this hour. That said, these guys are clearly awake. <laughs> it's pretty pretty late or early, depending upon how you look at it in Spain. Russia might be a normal hour. Well, closer to, depending where he lives in Russia. So I'm going to enter and leave the pool just to see if I can get multicast again. He's playing. I wonder if he switched time controls. Yeah, he's playing five minute now. That's no good. All right, well, I'm going to play a couple more, and if it's really slow, I might just wrap up this session. We'll see. I am happy I got at least one win against multicast, though. <laughs> the pool never ceases to surprise. I mean, occasionally some guy like that will just pop up. I've never heard of that dude in my life. I mean, it is a pretty new account, but just a massive rating. Like, as I said, Nakamura-like numbers. So... Hopefully I can get one of these guys once they're done here. Looks like Active King URSS has this pretty much in the bag. Yeah, he's got it. All right, so I've got him, Active King. We have English. This Bishop D7 system. Ironically, I just played a lot a uh, game with this. He's gambiting this pawn. This is interesting. Let's do this. And then e4, maybe. Um, yeah, the only problem is uh, I'm down a pawn and my position is not very good. <laughs> There's many problems, I guess, is what I'm saying. Uh, ooh, what's going on here? This has got to be very nice for me, doesn't it? I'm winning material here. Mm, okay, let's do that. Um, okay. Check. We take here. Check. We get this. Where is my checkmate? Mm, he has queen h3. That could be a good counterattack. He resigned. Queen h3, though, if he plays that move, doesn't he have chances? Rook b2, maybe? Rook f8 or something? Hmm. May not be quite lost yet. All right, let's play one more game. I'm 26-16. But yeah, my position was not very good. I really like this line for black. I mentioned this in one of my standard games, uh, the game against Lucid Chess that I posted a couple days ago. Um, this plan of going bishop d7, queen c8, combined with the advance of the h-pawn, it's not bad. And the key is delaying the development of the kingside knight. It's really not bad for black. And you can see I kind of struggled to do something from the white side here. He took my uh, b-pawn. Probably rook b1 wasn't good since that allowed that bishop takes c3 reply. But, very interesting. Okay, last game, let's see what we can do. <clears throat> see if anybody's playing. This is a draw, theoretical draw. Actually, white missed rook a5 with a win. Mm. <laughs> That's not how you want to play that position for either side. <laughs> I think they both kind of figured they were pretty low on time. Yeah, when I picked it up, it was uh, black playing g4, double question mark move, allowing rook a5 check. And then black blundering their rook, rook f2, but white panicking and taking the g3 pawn when they both had a reasonable amount of time left. But very easy to see this stuff as spectators, not so much when you're actually playing the game, right? So I've done far worse. Okay, let's... Get one more game. That's all I want, guys. One more game. Multicast would be the best, but he's he's not hanging around the pool. Leon Yu is going to be our final opponent. Leon Yu wraps it up. Okay, let's go h5. I don't really trust what they're doing with this setup. I'm going to go e5 after this. 
Might as well break. Uh, Knight F3 check. Looks good. I'll probably play Queen E7 after this. Looks like they're going long. Yeah, B6 maybe. B5, sure. I probably can castle short. Their queen is kind of messed up here. It's a little awkward. Um, they're planning knight d4, so I, I probably should retreat, huh? Um, yeah, okay, I'll take this way. Castle. Hmm, b4. Knight d5, interesting. Uh, let's go here. Not quite threatening mate yet, but if rook takes d5, I have bishop f3. That's a nice trick. Ooh, this has got to be good for me. Um, wow. Bishop a3 doesn't work quite yet. Let's just go here. Line up stuff against their king. You know... Um, okay, i got to play faster. Let's go here. Drop my bishop back to f8 for protection. Um, okay. Definitely attacking their king. Now I'm just going for it. Eh, he flagged. Okay, well, actually this turned out to be a nearly break-even session. Um, I started at 26-22 and ended at 26-19. And didn't play too many games. One, two, three, four, five, six games only. Um, but, you know, I'm happy with three and a half out of six, given the given that I played multicast three times and active king twice, mainly multicast. So, still on the best list. I think I'll still be in the number two spot. Um, yeah. Don't know why multicast is on, on there. I'm tied with Sergic, this guy. Good thing this guy wasn't playing because he pretty much owns me, <laughs> at least at the moment. Adaptation is apparently Fabiano Caruana. At least that's the word on the street. Ooh, and he has it in his notes, too. That would be awesome if I could play him. Um, I would love to play him at any time control. He has been playing lately, too. These are all games from yesterday, so maybe I'll catch him. All right, well, thank you guys for watching this bullet video, and I'll be back tomorrow with another one. Talk to you guys later. Bye.